All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm Keith, and uh, we've got another DIY project we're going to do this week. We got a soft start from Techno RV, and we're going to hook this up on our General Electric air conditioner. When you order one of these things from uh, Techno RV, um, comes with all the fasteners, connectors, comes in a good package. It's got everything you need to make this thing connect. Really trouble free. Um, comes with instructions in the box, but probably the single best part is when you buy this from Soft Start. I'm sorry, if you buy this Soft Start from Techno RV, not only do they send you an install video to reference, they actually line you up with the manufacturer's drawings so that you can print it out or put it on your smartphone and you're able to actually bring it up here and see in real time what wire goes to where. So this is very handy. And I don't know if the others do it or not. This is my first uh, soft start install that we're putting on our rig. So bear with us here. Uh, we're going to speed the video up. Probably have the sound muted because there's cars going by. We are at home this week. And I'm going to take this off and uh, show you guys how to hook this up. And we're going to do a amp draw test before and after just to see what difference it makes on startup versus what difference it makes with the soft start on startup. So it's supposed to be uh, friendly for little generators. And if you got a small inverter, it's supposed to make that work pretty well inside if you're running on solar. So that's what we're gonna do. So we wanted to take a minute to give you the link to this product and uh, show you the other things that they happen to offer here at Techno RV site. But they have all kinds of instruments from tire pressure monitoring, propane, gas stops, your uh, power, monitoring and filtering equipment if you plug into a park it'll tell you if you got good power or bad too many things for me to tell you on this video check out techno rv they have a million things on here from getting you there to giving you a safe place and uh, i provide a link to this to make it easy for you to stop the video you can scan it with your phone it'll take you directly to the soft start again the great thing about getting it from techno rv they have a full engineering staff that can help you should you run into a problem you simply want to communicate to them what type of unit, make, model that you have, and they will make sure they have the unit that fits your needs. Okay, so there's the diagram, and I uh, just want to give you a couple of words of caution. Make sure you got your rig unplugged before you do this. Make sure it's not plugged in anything, and if you do have an inverter with solar like I have, make sure your disconnects are open, you know, they're shut down. So there's no risk of getting zapped up here, because that would be a really bad day. Use safety when you're taking these things apart. Make sure the power's off before you go up there. Make sure it's unplugged, there's no battery power. Make sure 100% of the electricity is isolated. Be safe. One point four seven amps, that's good. All right, that's just with the low fan running. So now we're gonna kick the compressor on. Here we go. And I saw 15 amps for just a second. So we are drawing 12.3, 12.3 amps. Okay. We'll turn the compressor back off. We see that the fan is running an amp and a half. I'm going to change this to max. We'll turn that compressor right back on. There we go. Look at that. 39 amps. You guys see that? 39 amps. That's how much inrush current that takes. Man, you can feel the heat coming out of the condenser already. All right, so we got that number. We know we got 38 amps. All right, 38 amps.
pulling about 13 amps. So we're going to put the soft start on. We know it pulls about 13 amps. We know that the fan pulls just shy of 2 amps. We're going to put the soft start on and retest this and see what the amp draw is. So it's pretty straightforward. You can follow the diagram. It's real easy to look at these. Wires connected. Follow the print. Do it one at a time. It's real simple to hook up. Now I'm just going to tidy these wires up. Certainly don't want these getting caught in this fan. And I'm not sure how much you guys can see with my big head in the way. But I'm using these Panduit wire ties to tie these down. It is a little muggy today. So I'm putting the soft start on here, and there's a couple of reasons. Number one, I use an inverter generator, a little smaller unit, and it's a little bit easier on the generator when you go to start it. Second reason, it's a heck of a lot easier on your equipment if that compressor's coming on slowly, <clears throat> excuse me, if the compressor comes on slow and it's not banging real hard to start, it's like starting your car and slamming it into gear, I guess. We'll log into our thermostat. I'm gonna turn our fan on. seen 1.5 amps and now we're going to run this down and then let's fire up the compressor and see what it draws so the blower amperage is the same there's our lights So after that compressor got up to speed, it's drawn right about the same current that it was, but it had significantly less power required to get it started. So that is a huge plus. Now let's do a inrush current. There we go. Much better. You see that maximum current right there? Maximum current draw, 18.2. So almost half of the draw on this compressor started real smooth. You can hear it kind of speeding up as it went. So that's fantastic. We went from 34 amps to 18 amps. So I'm really sure our little inverter generator will have no problem cranking this thing up now. So when it's time to button this all up, before you put the covers on, take a minute, blow out those coils that are behind the fan blade. With the power off, you want to get in there and blow them condenser coils out. You'll thank me later. So mine had a little bit of cottonwood, and I just took an air hose off camera and blew it out. So I'm good to go. But just wanted to remind you, clean that up while you're in there. Okay, we got that soft start hooked up on the roof, and uh, we don't have a gigantic generator. I've got a little 2,000 watt inverter generator from Harbor Freight, just kind of an emergency generator, but I was told that if I put a soft start in here, you might possibly be able to run your air conditioning 
with the little inverter generator of the size. So I got the generator plugged in and it's warmed up because you know you don't want to start running anything hard. Hopefully that that's showing up for you guys. But just a cheap little, you know, I don't want to say cheap, just the inexpensive Predator 2000 watt inverter generator. Now what I read on the forums is that you don't run it in the eco mode. You turn that off. And so I got it plugged in coming into my emergency generator input on this rig, going straight to my Renogy inverter. And this is set up for off grid. I'm not plugged into a house. And uh, we don't have anything else on and running. I got a little solar coming in. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go over to our microwave thermostat. We're going to turn the system on. Okay. And we're going to try to make it come on and we're going to see what happens at the generator. Okay, you heard that, I think. The generator revved up, so I heard the blower fan kick on over my head. This compressor would kick on above us you'd hear like a like a boom and now it's real smooth and of course and thankfully you know, harbor freight still running so now I do see there's a little red light on the harbor freight it's right at the edge so we're drawing probably the maximum that that little generator can handle just running the air to cool the rig down So we're all set with this uh, soft start that we put on our air conditioner up behind me. And um, it's a 15,000 BTU air conditioner. And when we go uh, traveling there sometimes that it'd be nice to run a generator. We do have a solar system and battery. We have 600 amp hours of battery so we can run the air conditioner for a while. But there are some nights it would be cool to have a little generator to run just to not kill the batteries all the way. So anyway, the generator we have is that little Harbor Freight 2000 watt. It's an inverter generator, and so if you put a soft start on, you can run your generator. It does work its butt off. It technically should be the next size up. Perhaps a 2500 watt would be better, but this is what I have. So putting the soft start on here allows me to run it. Beforehand, I couldn't run that generator 20 seconds. When, it was, uh, when I would plug that in, it would blow the breaker because it just didn't have enough to handle the air conditioner. But now, as you can see, that little generator will run the air conditioner and it's cooling off inside really well. So the soft start is worth it. And it allows you to run on a much smaller generator, which means it's lighter, it's cheaper to haul, cheaper to buy. So that's it. Uh, thanks to soft start, this one's gonna work out pretty well for us. So uh, thanks for stopping by the channel. Please like and subscribe. Our channel could use your support. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.